At first I was concerned because I didn't want it to smell like barbecue. Because I see all of this charcoal infused up in our toothpaste. I know that don't rhyme and that's okay. But Burt's Bees has charcoal and whitening. Uh, those are two specific features of this product being emphasized. I'm still concerned about my breath smell like, you know, my teeth smell like barbecue. My whole mouth smell like a... Shut up. I almost said it. I almost said it. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm working on it. I just don't want my breath to smell like barbecue. And I've not had a piece of barbecue chicken. You hear me? That's all. Now, since then, since that first concern, which was about mid last year, I have found that the way that they formulate this charcoal, it, it, it has to be definitely has to be food grade in order for it to be used for consumption i always encourage you to do your research it doesn't smell like it's gonna gonna make your mouth it, it smell like barbecue okay or a um so it smells pretty refreshing the the way that they have done it a way that they have formulated do i trust it no but you know what I still have a baby piece, a, a baby canister from Dollar Tree of, of a um, charcoal powder meant to whiten dying teeth. But I've been using Crest infused with Scope mouthwash. Yeah. Burt's Bees. Now, they're, if you recognize them, they're the brand that makes, makes the really um, beautiful tinted complexion complementary type of... Um, Lip balms, the tinted lip balms, stuff like that. They they kind of remind me of Blist Blistex, B L I S T E X. Blistex had a tinted lip balm that was very popular. And what did they go and do? It was a favorite, still a favorite of many, including myself. Blistex lip tone. Can you bring that back? Now we know it won't be the same, but bring back the same tone. Blistex lip tone was was a specific. Uh, it was a tinted lip balm. Came in this bronze, golden, you know, kind of close to my chocolate self. Okay, and um, it was kind of like brownish red, and it was tinted. And I think it was form. Its original intent was to complement every skin tone. I wove that out until that tube was gone. You hear me? Applying it like it was lipstick. Now I say all that to say this: Burt's Bees brand that comes out with the all the lip care all the tinted lip balms the non-tinted lip balms now they in the game of oral hygiene see i wrap that back up okay charcoal and whitening fluoride yeah 497 and and judging by the size of and the contents of this box it looks to be a good amount please don't disappoint now i've not bought a tube of this because i'm still concerned i'm still on the fence about it I'm putting this out here in case anybody is has been thinking about it. Like, you know what? I've been walking by that Burt's Bees charcoal and white now. I don't know nothing about it. And then BAM! This video pops up. So I understand you have concerns. You might have the same concerns I have. You might have concerns that I don't have and vice versa. Looks very interesting. My thing is, I might try it on one condition. What condition is that, you ask? Where's the baby trial size, the travel size? And can you put that in the travel section of the store? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Target has a section for that. Walmart has a section for that. Dollar Tree got a section for that. Most stores have sections for travel size because they realize different people travel through different places. When they make a pit stop, they need like travel size shampoo, not the whole thickums bottle of it and conditioner and so forth and mouthwash. Okay, when you need that scope on the run, then you need a baby size of scope. Yeah, see what I did there? But if you would like to see more videos like this where I am just getting into the discovery of products, sharing it with you, then on either side, there should be a playlist for you all to enjoy. And until next time, with your breath not smelling like barbecue, unless you're eating barbecue, rewind it back if you don't get it. I, I want you to get it. Love you. Hey y'all, so I'm leaving this here right quick just so we can keep in touch outside of YouTube. You'll have to submit your email, but I promise you won't get any spam. Thank you.
when I think about love, it's one of the bravest, bravest things, things that you can do. It is patient, it is kind, it does not envy or boast, and it'll keep, keep you on, on the coast of not being rude or self-seeking, nor is it easily angered or seething mad, and it keeps no records of wrongs, it has no pleasure in evil, but it rejoices in the truth. And most of all, 